Hey folks, thanks for joining me. McGinn's Woodshop here, and we're going to go ahead and finish cleaning up this board on my beautiful new planer. And this is a piece of cherry. It's uh, about eight and a half inches by 98 inches, which is like, you know, eight feet something. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is making some cribbage boards. I'm also going to make a video on how I did the design. So if you're interested in designing your own crib board, or maybe designing this one for fun, um, you can do so. If you don't want to design it, but you still want to make it, and you have an X-curve, then you're in luck, because I put this project on my Inventables projects page. Um, so feel free to go in there if you have any questions about that, or if you have anything you'd like help with, uh, please leave them in the comments below, or contact me if you know how to do that. Other than that, uh, I'll quit blabbing, we'll get clean. Okie dokie, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces here. So we'll go down, we'll uh, go in the other room, sand them up, clean them, get them flat and clean and ready to go. And then we'll uh, bring them down to the uh, CNC machine to get curved into. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is I'll be cleaning up the cherry uh, with a 60 grit and just giving it a good rough flatness. Uh, I'm going to do that on both sides, and then I'm going to bring it up to uh, 120. Okay, so here's what I'm looking at. I got some uh, staining, it's like an oil. I don't know, sure what it is. It's not, it doesn't look oily. It's even considering it might be part of the green, but I think it's maybe, I don't know. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this through the planer. Um, either way, I don't really like it, it throws it off a bit. So I'm gonna throw it through the planer and just bring it down another level and uh, see if that goes away. So I'm glad I cleaned that up because now the side looks 100% uh, better, just cleaner. It's going to have a lot of depth to it. So I'm going to sand this up and uh, let's bring this to a shine. Okay, so with the two faces all sanded to 60, I'm just going to clean up an edge here and then um, that's really it.
Now quickly, just one last time, measure the board, which is 23 inches. And I know my design is, uh, comes into the corner as a round, so I've got space here. And I am gonna move it in slightly, because I do only need 22 inches, and that just gives me a little bit of extra room to have some extra material around the whole thing. Okay, so with the tip just touching the very top of the wood, Okay folks, well, um, we got it all done on the CNC machine. So the next step is uh, this trace outline that I did is 1 8 inch deep. Uh, that's just a line to follow. And so we're gonna follow that line on the bandsaw. We'll sand it down to the line. So let's go ahead and get this cut on the bandsaw and move on through to the finishing process. Edges all sanded, uh, relatively flat and clean. Um, we're now going to go ahead and do a small round over on all the corners. So I'll just speed up my orbital sander process because uh, I like the nice natural round edge. And I might as well knock the edge off with this and then sand it off with this, like more with the sander and that's it. Uh, that's my perspective anyway. So. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to do face up and down, so it doesn't matter where we start. Uh, the only thing you'll notice is, first of all, I'm in a vise. I don't recommend doing this unless you're comfortable with how you have things set up. Uh, I do have a table I need to get set up, but I've been busy, so it's not. <laughs> this is my alternative for now, so I can get this done.
sanding the, the, it down evenly and just in doing so and the round over has kind of taken away the finer edge. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to shorten this and cut it this board at this line here So I can use this for um, I'll just take off basically the outline and sand it back down So uh, that's what I'm going to do just to make it even and look nicer First, before we finish it, uh, now that we have everything sanded up to 240, uh, we're going to go ahead and put my reverse logo that I printed with a laser printer. It's just to brand it here, and so we'll just put it on the back and line it up with the green. And we we'll use a heat gun to transfer it over. Okay, to finish it, we're going to use about six coats of tongue oil here. Uh, I'm going to put a nice thick coat on, let it soak in. Uh, it'll dry, it'll show dry spots on the on the wood, on the surface. Then I'll put more, I'll keep applying more and keep applying more about every six hours uh, until it builds up a real thick base. And then I will put one final coat and let it harden for a good 24 or 48 hours. So with that, I get a little container and I can just soak some lint-free cloth and I'm gonna dab it on and just let it soak into all the grooves. My first main, main goal here. Let that soak for 10 minutes and then we'll wipe it off. <laughs> 